Okay. I'm streaming this amazing game. And a friend of mine told me I don't do any intros, so here's the intro. I'm gonna be farming a dude named Seeker because he has Upstart Goblin, and I need Upstart Goblin to play online. Or I don't need it to play online, I just need it for a deck I'm making to play and playing online. And I'm gonna be using uh, the deck that I'm that I use online. It's my only legal deck for online. The other four are have a bunch of banned shit in it just to cheese the AI. I'm sorry if I don't talk a lot at all, but I'm not gonna talk unless I'm addressing someone in the chat or something stupid happens. And there probably won't be anybody in the chat because nobody really knows who the hell I am since my channel got taken down. This guy's main deck is based off of uh, Exodia. No, you can have that. That's fine. Uh, no. I'm gonna say no to swords, because that is annoying. His whole deck is based off of stalling. He has, like, triple upstart, triple swords, triple swift scarecrow, triple wuboku, triple threatening roar. He just has, like, a million stall cards because he's a dick. cards out, he basically can't do anything. Except for that. Uh, do I want to say no to hope for escape? Hmm. Yeah, screw it. You can take damage. Screw off. Because Nutria Beast can negate all spell cards. Like, every single time he uses a spell card, I can just negate it over and over and over again. Uses threatening roar? No. Negate attack. I just want to point out that this dude is amazing. He's like the greatest duelist of all time. Because he just wants me to sit here while he draws cards. Negate, negate attack? I guess not, because it's a quick play or something. Oh my god. So he has a lot of... So he has... One... Five. He has, like, so many cards. They just say no. What the hell is this? Would I like to chain something? 
No, I don't want to negate my own spell. Why does, I don't even understand why it asks you that. It asks you if you want to destroy your own crap all the time. This is going to ruin his day. I think. I haven't played this in a long time, but I think this is he can't use your opponent. Yeah, your opponent cannot activate card attacks during the damage step, so if I start doing damage to him, he can't just like activate all these stupid trap cards like he's been doing. I don't know what that does. You can tribute this card to activate this effect. If you do, monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage for the rest of the turn. This effect can oh my effect can get well screw you. I can still attack. You just don't take any damage. Fucking asshole. <laughs> He's basically just waiting now, because he can't do anything. God, if I had a level 4, I could kill him right now, but I can't. No matter what he does, he can't win. Because this negates all spells, this negates one thing. The Ingest Chain just can get rid of monster effects. And Nagatama can save my card from being destroyed. Okay, you lose. Battle Fader and two negate attacks. Nope. I need Upstart Goblin. set five cards because you're awesome. I'm about to play a lot of cards. I'm 99% sure that I'm not going to be able to do any damage this turn. Very high chance I won't be able to do any damage this turn.
Next turn, he's screwed, because I'm going to summon Varkion, and he's not going to be able to use any trap cards. And that's going to ruin his day. Such an ass. No, just because I don't want you to draw another freaking swift scarecrow. Get out of here. I don't know why, I, it's just a habit that I attack with the weak ones first, just in case he has gores or something like that. No. I use this first, because I don't want to mill cards. Or I don't want to banish cards. Come on, nope, Battle Fader, whatever this thing is, into the Scarecrow. I hate you, with a passion. I really do. I really, really do. Not nice. This hand's kind of terrible. But it doesn't matter because he doesn't play any monsters that attack. I guess that's a good thing. Oh, great. Thank you. 
When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, each player adds one level 3 or lower normal monster from their deck to their hand. I'm gonna make Black Rose. I'm gonna blow up the field. This plan isn't gonna work if I don't have Black Rose. Which I might not, but if I do have Black Rose, I'm gonna Black Rose the field, and then I'm gonna summon like 80 monsters. I don't have Black Rose. Okay, so then this plan was useless. I wasted f like six turns. My bad. I did not mean to waste like six turns. Totally not the point. The point is, I'm about to summon a lot of shit. God damn it, I don't want to use Phoenix Chain. What the fuck is barking? Because your shenanigans are done with. Your stupid trap cards. How the hell do I make Crimson Blader? Oh, no, I do not want to make Crimson Blader. I'm just gonna make Goyo just to get rid of this other card, because if it's on the field at the end of the turn, I take a I take a bunch of damage. Rather not do that. No, I don't want to chain Phoenix Chain. Okay, note to self: I need to put Black Rose in this deck and take out something. I'll probably take out Beals because there's no way to make the damn thing. Can I still normal? No. Okay. Fuck you. Got another plan? I need to get into damage. Chain in. Or I need not finish hand, I need to put in a uh, Black Rose, because I could have Black Rose the field and then summoned like a thousand cards. Might as well fucking summon it, right? I can summon this and go for Crimson Blader.
Can I use this card as many times as I want? Nope. Okay, you can only use Barkeon's effect once, that sucks. So it's not like Nutria Beast. Nutria Beast you can use it like 80 times. Jesus, give me an upstar goblin. Oh my god, this guy is glorious. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something else. I'm just gonna buy a crap ton because I have so many points. How do you do it? Where is the battle? Is it battle packs? Nope, it's not battle packs. Card shop? There we go. Where's Seeker at? He's not in here, is he? No, Seeker's not in here. Never mind. I thought that Seeker was a, a dude you could buy shit from. Uh, well, this sucks. Nope, not Rex. Uh, this will go a lot faster if I just use Light Swords. Or Dark Worlds. I'm just gonna use Dark Worlds. I just picked first just because I don't want him to set a bunch of shit right off the bat. Okay, now here's here's the great part about this card. If I get rid of one of his pieces of Exodia, he loses because he only has one copy. So the game's over as soon as I play it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this. And I'm going to play this. He has to choose one of my cards. Okay, does he have a piece of Exodia? He does not. What do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of Battle Fader. Get rid of this. Which gets summoned. I'm going to summon this just so if I don't draw something next turn that lets me put this in the grave, I can just normal summon it. He's gonna play one day apiece. Like he just has to at this point. Yeah, there you go. I don't. I have relinquished in this deck as like a joke. Like I have one relinquished and one of the ritual spell just as a joke.
Normals. I would have been surprised if that went through. That was never gonna go through. Oh my god. This guy is the most annoying person to play against ever. He's gonna take hope for escape if he's smart. Nope, Thurning Roar, great. That means I get to get stalled next turn, yay. No, I don't want to use a card. Okay, right off the bat. Get rid of this. Put it on... This. Did he use this effect? this and use this and if he has any of the pieces of Exodia he loses no matter what yep all three pieces gone 
And then I discarded snow. So I want I want this. Great. So I miss timing and I don't discard. This is the most ridiculous board ever. There's no point in doing any of this, I'm just doing it because I'm bored from sitting here while he stalls me. I just realized I lost. Yep. This is the dumbest thing that's ever happened. If he plays something that makes me draw the card, he wins. He wins. Yeah. 
Well, that was the dumbest thing that's ever happened. That was the most boring... Oh, I got one upstar goblin. Oh my god, I got an upstar goblin because I lost. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go in here, and then I'm just gonna immediately resign. And see if he gives me one. If he does, stream mission accomplished. Stream over, mission accomplished. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, stream is back on. But, I guess Six Samurais is the best thing to use against it. I'll try Light Sworn and see if that goes any smoother. If it doesn't, I'll switch back to Six Samurais. I want to go second, because I don't care what he does. He's not going to do anything that destroys my crap. The worst thing he can do is set like six fucking cards or five cards. Ah, well, that was a successful first turn. I used half my deck. Oh no. I need to make another Black Rose. I guess I don't need to make Black Rose. I can just make this and banish it. I think I win. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot the <laughs> the amazing PlayStation 2 graphics on a PS4 game. They're so great. Oh look, you got a piece of Exodia. Wow. Guess what's about to happen? You dead. Upstar Goblin, yay! Upstar Goblin. Deck edit. Deck. I just gotta scroll down. Where's it at? Three upstar goblin. Mission accomplished. I can go into my dark world. Clear that. Clear that and clear that there another one of those wait what is square oh I'm hitting square what am I supposed to be hitting A button okay there we go one two three there we go do I have any trade-ins trade TR. Do not have any trade ins. Do I have any advanced draws? A, 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 A. Advanced draw. Advanced. I do not have any advanced draws. Okay. So eventually, with this deck, I don't know what I need with this deck. Tell you the truth. I don't know if I'm making it into regular Dark Worlds or Dark World Turbo. It all depends on that. If I'm making it, making it into regular Dark Worlds, I need... I need Tour Guides and I need the Burning Abyss cards. Because I need to put Skarm in here. I need to put Triple Skarm. If I'm making Turbo, I need Double Trade and Double Advanced Draw. I need triple trade in, triple advance draw, and I need two more of these and two more of these. So who drops Malefic? I'm gonna go through this real quick and see who drops Malefics. Single coolest. I think it's someone in the bottom. Okay, nope. 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 Whoops. What happened? I didn't hit that. I haven't even selected a deck. That was like a glitch or something. I guess I'll duel this dude really fast. That was really weird. Like, I just hit circle X a bunch of times and it just picked the guy I was on. And I didn't even get to choose a deck. What does this guy use? He uses Infernoids. Okay, I know what they do.
I'm just trying to get another base because I have three of them. Mistake should have been defense. Whatever. Well, I lost. Okay, so Primo has Malefics. So on my next stream, whenever it is, or my next Yu-Gi-Oh stream, I don't know what I'll be streaming next, but if my next Yu-Gi-Oh stream will be farming him for two more Malefic Stardusts. So, goodbye. 